all right guys here's another look check it out I'm done spot welding I got some uh, butt welding to do on the ends and some touch up uh, where I have my alignment screws but uh I give that uh, Harbor Freight 230 volt spot welder um, I give that a freaking 8 out of 10 and the only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because the goddamn thing is hot and heavy <laughs> um, but a little upper body workout wouldn't kill me one bit so uh, no complaints totally worth the 200 bucks actually what my total investment with the extension cord is about I got about $240 200, figure 250 I got $250 in that welder, but check this shit out, it's done, no finish work, other than a little wire wheel, and I'll put some weld through primer on this stuff from this side and the other side, but dude, it is done, I doubled them up on the safe side, because they are a little bit smaller, and I thought, well, if there was one that didn't actually catch um, that I'm kind of it's insurance I guess basically um, but this thing is solid I mean it ain't going anywhere I'm rocking the whole truck doing that let me give you a peek underneath here hold on sorry about the shaky cam here for a moment to get myself situated here um, this thousand degree light out of the way here this or not that just needs a little wire brush and uh, some primer but I mean that looks pretty nice guys I can totally live with that and it's solid wish I could get a better angle here for you I do need to drill some holes and some of these cross members they don't have drain holes in them for some dumb reason and I wonder why the truck rots out rots out jeez shocker huh better look down here there we go that's a little better check that out there's a couple of them got a little hot bowling through but like I said that's why I doubled them up and I'll touch up anything else with the wire feed welder. That's awesome. Super stoked about that. Crawl out here. <clears throat> Sorry about shaky cam. You know, you guys know how it is. How? God damn it! Everything is burning me today. I'm sorry about the cussing. Alright, but see, here's what we got. We got, there was originally two there. I put four. There was originally two here. I put four. Some of these were misses. Um, actually, some of this was just plain old gone. I don't even know how many were in there. But, um, wherever I have a screw, I'll just wire feed. Um, that one needs to be touched up. That one needs to be touched up. That one needs to be touched up, but minimal, minimal. Look at how nice those look. You can tell this one here. I uh, didn't leave triggered as long, and I actually used it, flipped the tool around. Um, it seemed like it worked better with the bottom tong, the stationary tong, on the heaviest piece of metal. Um, and the movable tong on the lighter piece of metal which in the cases here the inner obviously is a beefier piece of steel so um, but very very happy with the results here very happy and actually pleasantly surprised um, but this thing is I mean this thing is not going anywhere not going anywhere at all I, I'm not obviously not going to really do a destructive test on it but um, I did enough sample cards here to uh, 
to be satisfied. And that thing is heavy, dude. I don't. I'm gonna have to weigh that just out of my own curiosity. I actually had to put my welding gloves on because it got so damn hot I couldn't hold on to it. As I'm actually propping it up in the palm of my hand with the with the cord. Let me get better luck here. Hold on. I'm actually propping it up in my hand on end, straddling the cord between my fingers, and then um, you know trigger. You know this actually you know clamps that. I do have to realign my tips. They moved a little bit, and you can definitely see the usage on them. Um, I'll have to file them and adjust for the other side, but I'm done with this side. I, I don't. I shouldn't say I'm done with this side. I'm done with the inner rocker on this side. Um, Chicago welding. Um, I would be very interested in trying out the Miller welder version of this for comparison. I don't know. The thing worked pretty awesome to me. Of course, this is my first time I've used it, and it took me, you know, 10, 15 welds to get it kind of dialed in. But this is going to be as close to it as invisible repair as can be done on a truck with this kind of rust damage. That's awesome. I'm going to butt weld this and that'll be, I'll just have a little dress, dressing on the other side to do. I got a little bit of fitment issue here to work with, not a big deal. Uh, and then the uh, outer, the outer might be a different story just because that's a much heavier gauge. Um, but we'll give it a try. You know, even if I can just use it on the inners, um, you know, it's still a bonus. You know, and like I said, this would be an easy, easy, easy part to weld in with a MIG weld wire feed um, because their nuggets don't have to be anything special. They all get hidden. But um, I'm, I'm real satisfied with that. That's awesome. I'm very, very satisfied with that. Uh, and it's um, it's eight o'clock on Saturday night, and um, I kind of would just like to go in the house and watch a movie with my family. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean up my tools a little bit, and uh, I don't I don't like to leave the shop after I've welded here, even with this spot welder, um, too soon. So by the time I get my tools picked up, um, everything will be cooled off to my liking, and uh, there won't be any chance of fire because if it's gonna burn, it would be burning by now. But um, I'm not going to do any wire feed welding tonight. I'll save that for um, next week in the next video set. So thanks for watching. And uh, let me know what you think of this welder and if any of you guys actually have one or have used one. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, and maybe it's premature to re recommend something like that. Maybe it maybe won't last very long. I don't know. But for my first time trying it and knowing how extensive the welding is on a project like this I think I mean this only took me if I were to actually clock myself and not stopped and not you know admired the work as I went I don't I really don't think that this took me a half an hour I, 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 I know it didn't take me half an hour and if it would even if I could have welded it with a make a wire feed I'd still have I still have way more time in it than that. So, um, that's awesome. So, alright. So this is Matt saying see ya. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give her a thumbs up. Uh, give me a comment. Um, I tried my best to get back to you guys uh, in a timely fashion. So, uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.